What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseRace.com. 2023 Topps Chrome Hobby 2 Caser 24 Box Break Pikachu number 13 just sold out. Number all cards ship. And again, guys, uh, should be a fun one. So, here are the customer names. And last ball mojo was Joe getting the Marlins. Thank you guys so much for selling this out. Back to back days, we're doing dual casers. I love it. So there should be another one, guys. I'll double check again. I'll check the cases again. I know we're live on another platform right now, so just want to make sure that we have just enough so I can tag them. So I'll post it up at some point later tonight, uh, after this or during my lunch break. And you guys can start buying teams for, for the other break. So again, guys, obviously a little bit time consuming, but thankfully, you know, I kind of rip a little quickly through the packs to kind of save some time, so. It'll be about an hour 45 or so. By the time I put away everything, stuff like that, then it ends up being like two hours basically. And yeah, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna get Evan to help with a case, but it's so funny, all of a sudden there's like at least like 20 people in the store right now. And I tell him the one day I actually ask for help, because usually Evan, if it's slow, he'll be like, hey, you need some help, pack sack? And I'm like, nah, it's cool, it's cool. I actually wanted to ask him today. But there's at least like 20 people there. So I tell him, no worries, but if it does, for some reason, everybody leaves, because there's times where people in the store, like, they come all in bunches and then they just leave. I was like, you can pop open this case over here in the meantime. While well, you can. And then obviously. I'll finish it off, but we've done like 12 of these already, so people kind of know the deal. It's going to take a while anyway.
All right, two more boxes, guys, and then we'll, we'll go through the cards. One more, guys. We'll dip into the first half of the first piece. Alright guys, here we go. First six. Shane Bieber to three ninety nine. Trevor Story to 299.
We got Brian Servan for the Colorado Rockies. Going to Tim. Max Mayer. To three ninety nine. Oh, is there some big UFC tonight? Oh, maybe I can find the stream later. Pay per view, right? Or is it free? <clears throat> also, some of these cards kind of indented right there. I don't know if you see that. Not all of them, but a couple of those ones there. Freddie Furman. Kansas City. Josh Young. Soto to 150. Ah, <laughs> nice. So, paper video, gotcha. Okay. I gotta look that up then. I usually, I usually just find the stream online. I don't pay attention to much of UFC anymore because last few years I've been working obviously all the nights and especially Saturdays now. So like, there's times where I'm super busy on a Saturday night and I don't really pay attention to it. And obviously no reason to like purchase it if I wanted to, since I'm not fully 100% uh, Paying attention, which while I'm breaking. All right, a little show here with Tani base. And serving to 499. It's another one there for the Rockies, Tim. I feel like something massive is going to come out of this case. At least that's what it feels like to me. Michael Massey, go to 50. Jared Schuster to 150 for the Atlanta Braves. That's sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brunch on Saturdays? Oh, yeah. Nice. Right, so what's it like to... What's it like to bartend? 11 out of 99. Yeah, Kyle, are you local? Yeah, we're, we're hiring for... Uh, for a uh, like retail guy uh, in the store, I think four at least four days a week.
But yeah, check out our uh, our Instagram page. I think we still have it up on Instagram. The who to email? I think it was Marin at Jaspies dot com. Paris to seventy five. Wow, yes. I was going to say, Vegas? <laughs> Dangerous, but very awesome, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, one of my sister's friends, uh, She's a she bartends at this uh, one really, really fancy hotel in Hollywood somewhere. I forget what it's called. I don't know if it's the W, one of those ones. I don't know. She only, like, bartends, like, I think part-time during the day. My sister was telling me, man. I mean, obviously, bartenders, I mean... Obviously, uh, you know, make a lot of money like on tips and stuff like that. And I remember my sister just telling me, obviously, I mean, she's like an attractive girl, so obviously that kind of helps too, like with some of the, the guys. And same thing, vice versa. I'm sure it goes both ways. But yeah, she was she was getting some crazy tips sometimes, man. She was telling me like some dudes just go in there, celebrities, like athletes and stuff like that, and like just make she just make a killing on tips. Where she literally only had to like bartend like half the time, you know? Yeah, definitely lucrative. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for right there. That's sick, man. Where? Damn. Vegas. That's, <laughs> that's wild. But nice. And El Segundo, that's sick. Yeah, I mean, I, I believe it was like for four days out of the week. Um, uh, more on the retail side. Although I think, I don't know, we might be able to, might be able to be getting some help too in the back end. I feel like with... I was streaming on Fanatics. Um, it's kind of, uh, you know, making a little bit of a delay in shipping, but we're trying to get on top of it, get used to it. I think once we get used to it, get back into the flow of having like two case breaking sites should help. Oh, look at that. Pete Alonzo. Ultraviolets. Case hit. Last bomb mojo for Sean Maddox. But yeah, I think it was like for four days uh, in the retail side, but probably helping out a little, a little bit everywhere. But check it out, man. I mean, it's I'm super, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure we got people like asking about it, sending resumes and stuff. But it's a very chill job too. I mean, obviously we work at a card shop, right? I mean, kind of just really need to know sports, really, and potentially you know if you know the hobby, it probably definitely is a plus. Products and stuff like that, but. At the end of the day, it's still a retail position, so obviously, I'm sure people that go into like any retail position, I mean, they're gonna learn stuff anyways on the go. JP Crawford. Yeah, I think we're still looking, man. Joey Bottle Orange to First six, a lot of base, only a couple colors. You get an ultraviolet, so I do expect a big, big hit at some point in these next six boxes. Yeah, 
You PC all Kyle? That's sick, dude. Well, damn. You must have you either you must have or you will have a big collection of Kyles. <laughs> Yeah, what Kyle Stowers, Kyle Schwarber, Kyle Trask in football. I'm trying to think of all the Kyles now. That's right, Kyle Corver, Kyle Lowry, Kyle... Yeah, that's, that's actually, there's actually quite a few Kyles. Now you're gonna make me look it up. Who's probably, who's probably the, who's, who's the best Kyle, though, like in sports, all time? What's probably the number one Kyle in sports? think so Victor uh, you know I think a lot of our repack products have always been pretty solid you know we hadn't done a big hit express in a while but you know we do a lot of hit packs and stuff like that on our other platforms which is very similar but yeah it's been pretty good obviously you know in um, 12 hits so obviously it's kind of a little bit of a risk high risk high reward because 12 out of the 30 potentially teams would get a hit and obviously it's multi sports as football basketball baseball but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, there's a bunch of videos up on the website if you want to rewatch one or something like that, potentially get into it. But it's pretty fun. I mean, most of the hits that are in there, if you do grab a straight up spot, you know, um, yeah, there's a variation right there of Peraza. Uh, if you do end up getting a straight up spot, most likely most of the hits are at least at spot price or double, triple, if not quadruple, if not, you know, some of the sell sheet hits are pretty big. So, but yeah, the variations are always right on the top for some reason. Peraza. But yeah, no, check it out, man. It's just pretty good. I mean, it's also one of those promo breaks today, so it'd be kind of fun to do it. Peraza variation. Yeah, for some reason, when you rip open Tops Chrome, variation, like the variation is usually the first card on the pack.
Yeah, for sure. Uh, like I said, that one on the website is in the promo, so if you grab a spot and those breaks in that category sell out tonight, we'll give away some money. Kyle Bush, probably, right? I mean, I'm gonna look it up now. Who's probably, who's the best Kyle in sports, like, or all time? I mean, there's probably, I mean, there's a lot of Kyles out there, but I don't know, sport-wise, probably. See, best Kyle in sports. This probably had to be something like that, right? So this Reddit, this Reddit in 2000, oh, hold on. This Reddit says, is Kyle Lowry the best Kyle in history? <laughs> Mikhail Jordan. <laughs> Kyle Gorber. Kyle Guy. I remember him. I guess Kyle Busch could be the most accomplished, though. You know, thinking about it, it's really not... I mean, not to say that there's not that many great Kyles out there. There is, but... Like, all-time, all-time? Kyle Petty? I remember there was a quarterback named Bryce Petty. Oh really, Jake Lowe? The the Peraza? We've got a couple. We've got a couple of them. Schwarber, you know, you want a chip. Kyler Murray, uh, would that be still considered a Kyle? I guess so, right? Juice, yeah, he, he's one of them. I mean, I guess Kyle Lowry, though, probably like for a standpoint of a career. Been in the league for such a long time, you know, won a championship. Kyle Schwarber, I guess, also won a championship, too, on a World Series with the Cubs.
Here we go. Jeremy Benya. Franco to 250. Ray's going to Joe. And Waldichuk. Thank you. 
Riley Green, nice one there to 350 for Detroit. Who's the only baseball player to die hit by a throw to first base? There was a guy that, wow. First of all, I would have never known that anyways. But I have no clue. Who is it? Riley Green, nice negative. Steel Walker to 299. So then what happened? Did he just get hit like in the back of the head or something or what? Bigger orange, but that's a nice one though. We're getting some nice color. Guardians. And a Steven Carney. Sand. Oh wow, that happened a long time ago then. So it's not like that hasn't happened in a long time. You're giving us some Kentucky facts now. I like it. Kentucky. So tell me this though, if you're in Kentucky, is Kentucky Fried Chicken, the Colonel, actually much better in Kentucky? There we are. Yeah, that did not age well. One Nesky to one fifty blue. Cubs going to be met.
I know, dude, right? It's for real. I'm hoping that these last two boxes have the best names right now. So we're finally getting some good colors, just really not good names. Could be one of those cases, though, you know? Freed. Gangster shit right there. Alright, last box of the first case, guys. It's in the bang, hopefully. Nah, this was definitely one of those cases that just had so much nice colors, just not the great players. But it is a dual caser, so that's kind of the beauty of this. Get a chance to make it to get better. Bo to 99. Just gonna be a base incarnacion Marlins, good lord. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I love their gravy. So during Thanksgiving time, I go to KFC on Thanksgiving morning. Get a couple big large tubs of it, and that's the that's the that's the gravy we use for our uh, mashed potatoes and stuff. <laughs> I think Joe also does the same thing, because one time I told Joe that, and he's like, "Oh, I know K I know KFC's open because that's what I use too." I was like, "Oh." <laughs> yeah, definitely a case to forget, unfortunately, guys, but. Hopefully we make it up. But again, it's good color here towards the end. Just wasn't the biggest players. Got a variation, got a case hit, stowers. But yeah, just one of those cases, man, unfortunately. But we'll make it up here in the next one. Stretch a little bit. Ugh. Ugh. Man, I'm so happy I'm doing this now. If I would have done this like at 8 o'clock, I would have been dying.
Let's go. Batter case. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm going to to get now, actually. Oh, wow. Just literally started the first pitch. Is that right? Damn. Yeah, I will say KFC's biscuits. I will say are pretty pretty legit. I remember when I was a kid though, man, bring back the snackers. You guys remember the snackers? Those are my favorite thing to eat. Little mini chicken sandwich, little mayo and lettuce. I remember they had like a Guitar Hero box one time in 09 or somewhere on there.
Josh Brown hit that shit out. Come on, Julio. Ooh, shrimp fillet, fill, uh, shrimp fillet, like the fillet fish. Honestly, fillet fish is whatever. I think I've only had like twice, but I mean that makes sense, right? Japan shrimp. I try that. Do they also have teriyaki burgers, or is this just the regular? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man, I'm getting a little hungry. So this food talk is not gonna help. <laughs> I, did have, I do have food here already, though. I went to Costco this morning, bought a $5 rotisserie chicken. Rip some pieces up and eat that and make a little sandwich out of it. And eat a little, make a little sandwich. No, 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 I, I love talking about food. But I'm just gonna get really, really hungry. Five dollar rotisserie chicken. Ugh. The only thing is I need to run out to like 7-Eleven or something. And like, I should have bought chips earlier, but I forgot. Some type of chip or something. See you later, man. See you. Be safe, alright? Yeah, you too. All right, nice. I got like eight orders in now. Sweet. What are people getting into? They get express. <laughs> I know, it's funny, you know, every time we talk about food, everybody, like, this is where everybody likes to interact and start thinking about, but yeah, dude, honestly, like, knowing I have food here, I'm still down to talk about food, but if I didn't have anything yet and I hadn't ordered anything, I'd, I'd probably be a little mad inside. <laughs> It's just so crazy how fast food like around the world is so different from like here in the States, you know? I don't know why on my social media feeds, what's been popping up a lot is like, what's really in right now it seems like, what's really in right now it seems like is, um, is a lot of people have been like buying these like snack variety boxes where like, this, like these companies import like all the different type of snacks from all over the world. And like, I've been seeing a lot of those videos where like they prepare them. Where like this guy got like 10 items. He goes, all right, let's fill up this guy's box. It was like, 
Hershey's macadamia from friggin' you know France. I'm just as a just as an example, you know, and and here's a here's this from this country and stuff like that. I'm just like whoa, and you know here's uh, Doritos pepperoni pizza. I'm like what the hell? It's crazy. There's all these crazy different flavors from around the world. And I feel like that's one thing that's in right now. People are just be buying up these snack boxes like that. How ironic, that's crazy. Alright, last box guys, then we'll go to the next six out more orders then guys I love it I love it keep it coming keep it coming all right here we go next six here pronounce it differently but I'm just gonna call them Langliers for now until I hear it again there was a McDonald's at the edge of whose cheeseburger was only <laughs> cheese it's weird so was it a grilled cheese kettle marte no, no, no. Yeah, dude. I'm telling you, Kyle. There's some crazy ones. Like, I've seen some of these in the States. Like, I remember one time they had, like, a Philly cheesesteak. They had, uh, you know, chicken and waffles and stuff like that. But, but you know what I mean? Like, it's... Those were... Yeah, that's some wild-ass flavors, dude, honestly. Which, I don't even know if I would like them. Like, you know? Like, I don't... I don't... I don't know if I'm that kind of guy, like, to like chips that, like, taste like actual, like, food food. 
Yeah, it's so many. Yeah, exactly. I'll show you guys one of those variety boxes I seen earlier. I think I started following on my Facebook just for the fun of it. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm in a deep dive on like certain platforms, I'm just like, eh. I mainly use X now, which is Twitter, right? But every once in a while, I'll be on Instagram for like my card account, and then like on Facebook just because sometimes like I like to see some of the uh, like Facebook groups I'm in see if there's any nice cards on there and stuff like that see what's going on in the card world and then there's times where I just go through like their little reels and I just deep dive into this I see this one I see this one guy that literally like I think he's from Korea but he goes to any like Korean he goes to any like uh, fast food like uh, convenience store basically or a convenience store and he literally just eats food from the convenience stores like I remember those one like he always just posts up like and I love it over there like in Korea like overseas they literally sell like cups with ice already like you know so you buy the cup I don't even know how much it costs but it just comes with ice already and then obviously you buy like your coffee your juice whatever and then you pour it in like it's, it's amazing like why don't they do that here And then all the foods that like he eats that are just like through the microwave, like he's eating like a whole chicken wing or chicken, you know, piece of breast from a microwave. He's eating like all these crazy things. I'm just like, I don't know. I deep dive on those a lot too. Swaggerty to 4.99. There's a wasabi. Ugh. <laughs> Nasty. Yeah. See, I would have never tried that in my life. Reese Hoskins. Phillies. Nice reaction time, Julio. Oh my God. Alvarez Villar for the Giants Kyle with that one Cal Mitchell. Josh Smith. Oh, Tani Refractor. That's pretty nice. I feel like they're right there in the wild card, right? It's probably gonna come down to the wire though, man. Now, hey, yeah, there you go, Michael. There you are, buddy. <laughs> Have it your way. Drew Waters. Kansas City Royals going to Steven. Matt Chapman. Purple speckle to two ninety nine. Do 
10, Michael Massey. 199, little aqua teal. All right, those mouse guys, those mouse, those mouse. I think any any um, any West Coast team I think has a shot at him if he decides to leave Anaheim. I truly have a gut feeling that he's not. I think he's gonna stay. And it sounds crazy to say that because, like, you know, if, if he is really frustrated about winning, I don't think he'll ever win there. But I don't know. If something tells me he's just going to stay there. But I think if he does decide to leave, if he does decide to leave Cal Stevenson, I think it's going to be only to a West Coast team. And obviously, originally, it was, like, between both L.A. teams, you know, Dodgers, that, Seattle. But obviously, you can throw in the Giants in there, I mean, I guess. I think he's gonna stay. I think he's gonna come across the five freeway, honestly. But like I said, I, I just personally have a gut feeling he's not gonna leave. He's just a loyal ass dude. But if he does leave, I mean, obviously I'm hoping he comes to the, to the Dodgers. But ESPN did an article of how they think his his fair market would be, and they said like he would get like a 12 year, 600 plus million dollars. You know. Um, which, which is ridiculous, first of all. But the thing is that, like, he's just one of those rare players that, like, you know, kind of does both. And, like, no one's – so, like, back in the day has done that, really. So, like, what are you actually – what are you really going to pay him, you know? I agree with you, JMS. I think he's going to come to LA, too. But I'm just saying that, like, I also heard a card shop, too. I think it was in a Facebook group or something like that that I've seen. But they were saying that uh, there's rumors that Otani has a girlfriend and that her, his girlfriend loves living in Anaheim. But I'm like, oh, well, I mean, they can still live in Anaheim, you know, OC and still come to play for the Dodgers. Oh, James, sorry. I, I just try to do my best and then if it's wrong, hopefully customers correct me. So James, sorry. Um, yeah, so like, that's what I hope for, but you know. Freddie Freeman. I don't know. I just feel like he's just going to... I just feel like he might stay. Whatever. He's not going to win in there anyways. But, <laughs> but yeah. If he comes to the Dodgers, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Kobe did it. But, I mean, he, he'll be rich enough where he can still keep his house in, 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 in Orange County and then just buy a house nearby uh, nearby in L.A. somewhere and he doesn't have to worry about taking a helicopter, you know? So he'll, he'll be fine. <laughs> he'll be fine. Spencer Steer. Yes, man, we are still in tropical storm, yeah. I think the hurricane got downgraded to a category two right now somewhere in the Baja Peninsula area but but yeah I think I think we still are and I think now it's gonna be like raining the heaviest like throughout Sunday morning afternoon now instead of like night like past uh, midnight where are you at James are you, are you somewhere in your so-called too I mean I guess I can stock but but yeah no it's it's well, this is gonna be crazy. I mean, obviously, it's something we never really experienced here. I mean, if they're telling Catalina Island to evacuate, I mean, it's pretty it's probably be pretty wild. 
you know. Yeah, we are. I don't know. I did all my grocery shopping this morning. Like I said, I went to Costco and grocery store, stuff like that, just so that way. Because I usually go on Sunday, Mondays, but I'm not trying to go out at all if I have to. The next couple of days. Oh, nice. You're on the pier? Sick, dude. But yeah, no, uh, it, it's gonna hit, it's gonna hit most of the coastline pretty hard, I guess, I assume, wind-wise and stuff like that. I think I know where that's at. Let's see. I'll just stalk you. Might as well. Oh, okay, I know where that's at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you, I don't know. You guys, you guys could get, I guess, a lot. I know deserts and, like, mountains is going to be pretty bad, too, but. Yeah, I was going to say, I just looked it up right now. Yeah, off the 50, the 58, right? Oh, well, that's cool then, I guess. You would basically just, like, get... You, you could basically just take the 58 and cut all across Los Angeles. You don't have to worry about it to go to Vegas and stuff, huh? <laughs> I think I've only ever taken the 58, like, once. I know, that's right. I, I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm not... <laughs> I didn't, like... <laughs> I didn't go stock up on stuff, like, thinking it was going to be, like, a whole week's worth of storm, but I just basically got my normal groceries... And, uh, you know, just got it done today. Just so that way I don't have to go out and buy food or anything like that. Usually I try to, like, cook as much food as possible during the week. But working like this, sometimes we usually eat out a lot. So our days off, we like to try to cook as much as we can. Alrighty, guys. So here were some more cards here in this stack. I think these were the first six right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Still think there could be some massive stuff in this case. It kind of just looking like the first case, but hopefully it's a lot better though. All right, last six boxes. Yeah, it doesn't seem as windy right now. I'm looking like right now. I mean, I see the wind a little bit outside the store, but I don't. it's not as bad right now. It's going to be a lot worse tomorrow. I think they were saying like 20, 30 mile per hour winds, if not higher than that, specifically. I have no clue. Someone see that? Yeah, that, the dude like only played like 44 games, right? Like 44 games, or sorry, just drafted 44 days ago and then already started and already got called up. I have no clue though. They had a double hitter today too, so I'm not sure if he played in the first game. Yeah, better but not bad. That's what I'm saying. We didn't even get no cases in the first three boxes, so. Yeah, my aunt was throwing like a little birthday party for her, for her, uh, or my uncle was throwing a birthday party for my aunt tomorrow, but, I mean, obviously they decided to cancel it today. <laughs> so I'm like, dude, there's gonna be like a tropical star, though. Like, I don't know if anybody's gonna go, and then I think it's pretty dangerous. I mean, I wasn't gonna go anyways, because I'm in Long Beach, and... I don't know if it's going to be more crazier there than it is more inland where she's at, so. I'm like, good thing you canceled it, because uh, I don't know if that many people were going to show up. Especially since most of my family, or like half my family, like lives out in Fontana and like Rialto area. To drive all the way to like, you know, Boyle Heights, East LA. During a tropical storm? I don't know about that. 
Looks like people are buying into Legacy. I think it's like 60. I want to say it's like 12 packs, 6 cards or something like that. Or 5 cards, 12 packs. You get like 2 autos and a couple numbered cards. It, it's a pack filler, obviously. It's a, it's, a, it's a filler break, but... I had a B. John Robinson autograph yesterday out of one of those boxes. So, I mean, you could get some nice stuff. So you get two autos and a ton of number cards. Not a ton, I should say, maybe like three or four. And then obviously a chance to uh, win a big hit express spot.
three more boxes to room, guys. So again, after this, I'll clean up, upload the video, print out labels, and I'll go through some orders. I have like 12. Probably be taking a break. Maybe 7.30 plus around there, so. If like that legacy box filler fills and stuff like that, or another break fills, I can probably squeeze that in really quick. Latest 8 o'clock, I think, is when I want to take a break, so. within the next hour oh there's a variation we'll take that right now oh, a little Francisco Alvarez nice last spot mojo or not, not last spot mojo second to last spot mojo Sean Maddox got last spot mojo yesterday though guys last box made it to the finish line guys just gotta cross it now
Yay! Nice, Mookie with a bomb. Oswaldo Peraza. Yankees going to Zach Sullivan. And how about a Mike Trout relic? That's sick right there. That's also a gold. Game used memorabilia for the Angels, 13 out of 99. Sam Clark for the Angels. Beeps. Ooh, look at that. Radiating rookies. Jordan Walker. Cardinal Sam Clark. Got a lot of the bigger teams, and there you go. Boom. All right, this case is a little different, I will say. Expecting a lot more, though. Trey Turner. And nice Volpe. Yankees going to Zach Sullivan. It's the base, but we'll take it. We'll take it. And Alec Mano, the 25 orange. Four more boxes to go, guys. And Cody Clements to two fifty.
Nice Jonathan Aranda for the raise to 99. That's Joe. Ball to Chuck to 250. Jack Larson. I feel like it's the first time I've ever pulled this guy before. Mariners to 299. Speckle. Mariners is Michael Stapleton. Waldo Cabrera. All right, guys, last two boxes. Leers. Turn Walker. Gold wave, Briar and Buxton. Incarnacion. Marlins, Joe, Last Ball, Mojo, Purple. to the last box Ola. Ooh. And it's last spot mojo. How about that? At least we ended up with a goal too. Five out of 50 for the Marlins. Joe Simon. Or Simon, sorry. Joe S. Peyton Burden. There you go, man.
of your bias. Mitch Hanniger. Alrighty guys, and there you go. That was the break. So let me quickly do a recap for you guys. Alright, we've got a ton of colors and stacks here obviously, so you know you're gonna get that for sure. But here are the autos and stuff here. So Clements for Detroit Purple, Mariners Larson, Langlers, Burdick to 50 for the Marlins, Volpe base, uh, Radiant Rookies, Jordan Walker, Peraza for the Yankees, Mike Trout Relic, Gold. Alvarez, short print, variations, Spencer Steer for the Reds, Langliers for the A's, Blue Wave, or Blue uh, Ray Wave, I think. David Villar for the Giants, Swaggy for the Pirates, Waters for Kansas City, Stevenson for the A's, Wozniski for the Cubs, Blue, Walden Chuck Base, Walker, Purple Speckle for the Detroit Tigers, Orange Wave, Brennan for the Guardians, Adley, Gold Relic, Peraza, Variation, we have a Pete Alonzo Ultra Bodies case hit. Stowers for the Baltimore Orioles. Furman for Kansas City. Servin for the Colorado Rockies. Braves, Shuster Blue. Diaz, another Servin. Weimer, and Encarnacion. So there you go, guys. That was the Top Scrum Hobby case. Two caser, 24 box break number 13. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com, guys. Thank you.